Data mining and extraction is one of the most prominent processes within any company's IT department. When extraction and mining are not handled properly, other aspects of information governance and, and data management will almost certainly go awry. This is why only the most powerful and efficient solutions should be in play. Semex Text Converter has risen to the top of the ladder with respect to speed, scope, accuracy and affordability. We have been creating and improving data extraction and data processing software for more than 20 years. Our long time experience multiplied by the close work with specialists in many different fields has produced this truly useful solution, which finds its well-deserved place in the analytical arsenals of business professionals in such diverse industries as healthcare, insurance, banking, automotive, agriculture, and many others. Automated data extraction from various business documents such as financial reports and invoices, purchase orders and payroll reports, certificates of analysis and phone bills can be easily implemented using Semex Text Converter. Input data can be retrieved from any location, local and remote folders, emails and websites, cloud storages, and other programs. The data can be extracted from any format such as PDF and text files, HTML, and Excel, Word and others. Extracted data can be output to Excel, CSV, text, access or any relational database. Let's walk through a typical process of setting up a data extraction project. We will use this sample invoice report in a PDF format as our input. Data in this invoice report belongs to several levels. We call such data layout, hierarchical. It has customer data on the top then invoice for each customer, and invoice details at the innermost level. Let's drag and drop the file into Text Converter. We usually begin setting up a data extraction project with a detailed, or most internal level of data. It's pretty clear in this sample case, that invoice details belong to the detailed level. We click on a line belonging to that segment and select Setup Tabular Fields from the selected line from the Fly menu. All input lines fitting the same pattern are recognized, and the input and output dictionaries are created. The first detailed template is set up. You can use input text to initialize input and output field names. Each template has its own input dictionary. Input fields together with template properties define data extraction rules. The output dictionary defines how extracted data is laid out in the output database table or file. All project elements are conveniently synchronized. Clicking on an input segment highlights the corresponding output cell, showing where data will go after extraction. Conversely, clicking on an output preview cell selects the corresponding input segment highlighting where the data is coming from. Dictionary fields can be easily manipulated with. They can be renamed, moved around, or deleted. Text Converter supports multi-line templates, as well as multi-line fields. Let's see how easily a multi-line field extraction can be set up. We simply check the multi-line option of the description field, and values from multiple lines are extracted. Let's move to the next, invoice level. We add a top-level template, and add this group, as tagged fields. Tagged fields values are extracted relatively to locations of their tags. Please note that due date field is located below the details. A template can extract data from above, or below, other templates data. We use the footer option to tell the template, that there is data below details. Now we can add fields from this template, to the output. We can now move one level up, to the customer level. We add this data, as tagged fields. Text Converter automatically identifies the most likely locations of the corresponding field values. Another way to add a tagged field, is to highlight a field value, and then select the corresponding tag. This field value contains an address. Let me show you how Text Converter can parse it into separate address parts. Street address, city, state, and zip are recognized automatically. Let's remove this unneeded field. And export our data extraction results. The extraction results can be loaded to any database, 
using OLEDB or ODBC connectivity, or they can be saved to Excel, Access, CSV, or a text file. Let's save to Excel and run the process. The results can be viewed using our built-in data browser, which allows filtering, sorting, and aggregation. Now we can save the project for future use. The next time we need to reuse this project, we can open it from the list of recent projects, file menu, or the toolbar. The introduction is over. The detailed explanation of the user interface, workflows, and data extraction techniques will be presented in the coming tutorials.